What is up guys, it's the Chartreuse Wolf here. And today, I'm doing something new, it's called Lone Wolf. It starts the day I'm playing To The Moon. And basically my plan is to upload something every day from this game until I beat it. And then I find a new game to play, and then when I find that new game I do the same thing. Um, but every Wednesday and Saturday will still be League and Overwatch once I start this. So uh, to start, thank you for 50 subs, that was recent. Uh, to when I started playing this game. I played this a little bit, like maybe 15 minutes before I started recording so I could get a feel for it. But I didn't spoil too much for myself. Reasons this game is perfect for me, well, first, doesn't require much skill. And after that, it makes you cry. It's like emotions. And I'll tell you something, I watched Big Hero 6 four times and cried all four times. So. I think I'm ready for an adventure like that. Car crash. <laughs> this is part of what I already played before recording. So basically, the story of this this game is that these two doctors, um, they there's a dying patient, and they go back into his memories to grant his last wish. That's all I read about the game, and that it was emotional and story driven. So, where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. He still killed it, though. He ran over it anyways. Oh. He ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Hmm, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. So you left click to move and interact with objects. Got the sucker, let's roll. Right click to toggle the menu. Um, and I believe it was this way, to the house. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you remember. Lock the car. How thoughtful of you. And heading over to the patient's house. We put a boulder here. Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. So I believe... Push it by hand is a good idea. Alright, on three. One, two, three. It bounces around like a beach ball. I, I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. Well, we'll figure that thing out later. I screwed that up. Right. Alright, let's go. Knock on the door. Ma, they're here.
Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they have any coffee. Shut up. So once we walk into the house, I think that's where I stopped. Um, and decided to save the rest of it for actual recording. So after pretty much this part, I will not have played anything. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will. Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. Any moon walks into the house. Yeah, this is where I stopped after Act 1. I never told anyone, but I always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no. I am just his caretaker. <laughs> that was fast. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Received equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Come on. Go upstairs, yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No, these are the two kids. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes. Those kids are pretty good for their age. I couldn't play that. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Ready to set up? Yes. Yes, it'll just be a moment. eerie music. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. Hence the title of the game. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? 
So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you too. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Oh, do I have to know their names? This is Dr. Rosalie. Hmm, right. Dr. Watts seems to be busy. He's doing with the machine stuff, so I'd say Dr. Rosaline should explore. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a footprint on this chair. Yes, see, he's busy. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Here, take this. Remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. And we can see his heart beating. Okay, that's cool. Let's go over here. Children, what you want? Show me around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. <laughs> huh? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Their mom wouldn't like that. Well, you know, who cares about their mom? Johnny's about to die. We better, we better, uh, Get to it. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Right here. There's that candy cane. Oh, there it is. I can't reach it. Can I pull this chair over? No, it doesn't seem like it. What about this chair? No? The table? Oh, probably this thing, yeah. Oh, that was pretty cool. Didn't know. Didn't know you could just whoop. Put that there. Okay, let's let's go. We have the candy cane. Let's get out of here. Terrible calories. Okay, here's your candy cane, children. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Um, well, that leads outside the house. I'm guessing the study is one of these two. Well, this, one. this is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Oh, can I even see which one's the thickest? I guess if I just... 
Tale of a girl who fell in love with zombie. Oh, whoa. Who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. I guess we read the passage, yeah? Uh, maybe another year. Received a room key. Alright. He chose its hiding spot well. Let's go to the basement then. 